in five. All right. Four. Yep. Three. Yep. Two. I Carly. One. Right. Well, welcome to oh, the that? Magic Blitz uh, a podcast, or should I say a park cast? Ha ha. Yeah, watch out. Uh, talking about uh, all the theme park news in and around the Orlando area, along with all the Disney news around the world. And now with today, the Universal news. So uh, we'll get into all of it in a little bit but first let's introduce all of our guests joining us from ohio the great state of ohio discoverohio.com discover ohio uh we got nikki klaus hey yo, what's up what's happening um klaus will check in with him in a second and then from rhode island we got ziggy what's what, going on everyone what is <laughs> let's up? dive on in Let's go, Ziggy. We love it. And then uh, here on location, we got Drew and Berg. What up, um, what up? Yeah, so um, we are a uncensored podcast, so if you have little mouse ears, turn away and tell your parents and keep Get on listening. Here. Nope, keep on listening this because not, we want the listeners. This is, is not your father's podcast. We want you outstanding your father's in the hallway. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we are here. We're going to be talking about the new Universal fourth gate that they announced today here on august 1st 2019 just in case we listen to this you know in a year wait, 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 hold on what? can we call it a fourth gate but that's what they keep I was saying just gonna fourth say, is it really said, a fourth gate? The it's a fourth where gate the the, where is the third volcano gate? bay is the volcano bay. That's that's time out that's time out no so way if you say volcano bay is a gate then is typhoon lagoon blizzard beach are those gates at disney yes i would yes. consider no. i would say yes they're not gates I don't think so. I would say they're theme parks, but right, moving okay. On, moving on, moving on. Yes, we'll get into that in a second. But uh, obviously, if you've been living under a rock, you saw, uh, you did not see, but uh, Universal, Epic Universe, they announced it today. We'll get into it. They've acquired a bunch of land from, I want to say, Lockheed Martin. Someone. So, I, so what I happened with the land it. is that they sold the land they to sold a it. farmer. Yeah. And then they bought it back. The farmer said, hey... Don't use this as a theme park. Universal said, okie dokie. Turned around and made it a theme park. So, uh, actually, yeah, little, little weird stuff going on. That's really funny because I heard that they bought it in the Louisiana Purchase Land. <laughs> <laughs> and they stole it straight from that and said, this is a theme park in like 200 years. Straight from Napoleon <laughs> under his nose. Right under his that nose. Nice rule. Right Disney, under his nose. Disney, that rat bastard. Dala and Aka, can you fucking believe it? <laughs> Got him. So... <laughs> As you said, uh, Universal announced their third, I would guess, I would say theme park, their fourth gate um, in the Orlando area, this being called Epic Universe, or the EU, as we will call it. Ooh, um, European Union. Brexit. Yes, Brexit. Um, so yeah, so uh, the land is near the Orange County Convention Center where they held a press conference. They had all the land we were expecting for a lot more to be said, and they gave us nothing. Nada. Nothing. Not yeah, they kind of they kind of hyped this up for absolutely no reason. Yeah, I guess they had to do it to compete with D twenty three, even though we know D twenty three is just gonna be announcement after announcement after announcement, so it doesn't matter. Honestly, but um, I think this is the dry hand job of announcements. You're right. <laughs> like right, it, right. It was not what it we were a, expecting. It was a tease. It was a real cut. It, well, somebody, it really was a tease. Somebody said that at D23 when everything's being announced for Disney that uh Universal's going to drop some more details to try to That's what, overshadow stuff. Yeah, we'll I see. I would be shocked if they didn't. But um I guess we'll just head right into it. Klaus, you got all the details on it. You always no idea. Um, um yeah, so give us all the details, details about this new this new park. Yeah. So we'll run down this uh concept art. So first off, you're walking into a beautiful main entrance it looks almost like uh universal studios entrance it does big arch. Are you walking in here it's got the same it's got the same archway i would <coughs> oh, assume shit. they're just keeping with that it looks yeah. like you're walking kind of into uh the berlin wall <laughs> <laughs> right into the berlin wall <laughs> mr gorbachev tear down, down that, wall. that wall mr <laughs> Iger. <laughs> Mr. Um, so we walk in uh, a lot of water going on here a lot of Bellagio fountains I know uh, water world let's do it yeah so Maybe the hub this looks like there's some sort of glass 
area right there, right yeah. on that water yeah, there. Yeah, very strange. Couple glass areas. Um, supposed to be a hub shopping area, dining. We'll see if that turns out. Um, <laughs> what do you mean we'll see if it? It's gonna turn out. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. No, these um, concept arts with a grain of salt. I don't trust any of it. Well, I mean. It's a good point. Yeah. So, okay. and then on the left-hand side, we already knew this was coming because of the models and everything at Universal that were leaked. Uh, again, Nintendo Land. So, looks like we're going to be walking in. Uh, looks like a Super Mario area. And then right behind that is going to be Donkey Kong. So, I guess that's good. I, well, I think this is mostly the anchor of the park, <laughs> IP-wise. I don't think anything else is very relevant not as not as known i would say definitely because well, i mean we'll Correct. get to monsters and i would monsters would be cool but i feel like everyone knows nintendo so that's obviously yeah good. yeah i mean so, monsters yeah so as right, josh just there. fumbled over monsters is the next park or next land which is in the back corner uh <laughs> and then uh and then this hotel which is a grand hotel which is, in the back is almost the centerpiece of which this. just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. No, that's the thing. So I'm not gonna be able to stay in this theme park now. Well, well I think it's gonna be like California Adventure, where it's gonna be you can you can enter, exit the park, but yeah. Well, no, I guess that... we'll see. Okay, but I'm sorry, that doesn't need to be in the but, concept art. Hold on, Man, is that supposed to be their Cinderella's castle? Is that supposed to be it? This it's... big grand hotel in the middle of a fucking theme park? It looks like Atlantis. Is that it? Is it that looks what they're trying to do. It looks From... like Atlantis the ride. Poor Sea World tonight. No, I was not. <laughs> no, it doesn't it, look like maybe Atlantis. This is the ride. We don't know. We don't know. I was saying it looks like I was saying it looks like Atlantis in the Bahamas. Like it looks like that's the hotel with the towers, and it'll be connecting. And then there's a theme park or a water park in Atlantis right outside. It looks the same. I mean, yes, like Grand Californian. Doesn't Tokyo Disney or one of the Disneys over there have a hotel right inside the park? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, it's like right, right when you walk in. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't surprise me. Anywho, um. Just yeah, right of the hotel, we got what we think is going to be the Fantastic Beasts section. So whatever that is, a spinoff of a Harry Potter. Okay, second movie didn't do that well, so are they still doing it? Maybe. I don't, I don't think... I mean, I know Maybe. it was like the prequel to Harry Potter, but does it have a... like? Do people care enough, basically? Uh, I don't, That's a good question. I've I think been, people I've love gone... the idea of going to these Harry Potter-themed lands. Then they'll go anyway. Even if they hate the movie, see, it doesn't matter. See, but the they'll thing is, cloaks. I know people that are big Harry okay, Potter fans. Okay, gotta get their cloaks, their trench coats. You listen, know. I know people that are big <laughs> Harry Potter fans that just did not give a fuck about the entire Fantastic Beasts movie series. That's true. Because it's not. So, I mean, oh, it's yeah, not actually it's like, Harry Potter. So it's a cash grab. It's a fucking cash grab. Uh, yeah, that's all it is. So will they care about I, this theme park that has, honestly, zero fanfare? I would say that Nintendo is the only one, but you're going to be able to experience Nintendo everywhere <coughs> else before we get it and whenever this is happening. Yeah. I think another thing about Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, everyone's wanted Ministry of Magic forever. I don't know what it is. I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but yeah. I know that could be the Fantastic Beasts area. It could be Ministry of Magic, and people have been wanting that for yeah. ever. Let's talk about Mission Space right below it. I know, yeah, I've no. been seeing that. That's what everyone's been saying. It's been weird. Little, um, uh, and then finally, what we're, th what we're thinking the final land is, is How to Train Your Dragon, featuring, uh, looks like a launch coaster, looks like a dueling launch coaster. So, so um, another thing that people are kind of speculating is if How to Train Your Dragon can support a land, which, I mean, looking at the numbers, I, I pulled up the numbers earlier, um, numbers looks bad. like the movies did well. The movies did, did do well. They did well. The movies did well, but the real question is, can it support a land on its own? I think yeah. it will. With, I don't know if it can. How, if many, how many movies were there? Two? There were three, three. movies. Three, holy three shit. Three movies. It, this is the thing. <laughs> if the coasters are good, people will go. <laughs> That's three too many. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was a fan. I liked the first movie. I didn't see any other ones after that. I think if the coaster is done well, the launch one, we saw Hagrid. I mean, you guys didn't, but Hagrid's one of the best okay. rides. All right. <laughs> but it looks like it looks just like that same Hagrid, that flat. Just you, you go up and down, you bob back and forth. I want something to yeah, grab you. Well, That's here's the thing. Well, here's the thing. No, yeah. well, Zach, what more do you want? <laughs> well, Zach, Hagrid was revolutionary no. in the coaster world. <laughs> so, the, so you're, the you're sitting here saying, that ride, when I you're want not more. dropping, when you're not launching, you're yeah. just kind of going. Here, well, here. Like, 
this is this is what this is what I'll say to that. Hagrid was very was it was not the anchor the anchor like uh, roller coaster for that park. Like think about it, you already had Hulk there. That was the if you want to go on like a thrilling ride, you go on Hulk. You don't go on Hagrid. Hagrid's another ride that is very good. If this is the only thing, because it's not like the Mario Kart ride is going to anchor this i you would you need a coaster and if it's the dueling how to train your dragon launch coaster that is their dueling dragons and their hulk then so you bring i mean up, you bring up it'll Mario Kart. it should be able to hold the land up by itself that's what i would expect but you, you bring a mario kart is that going to be like universal's tomorrowland speedway no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> are we gonna have a mario kart is that a thing yeah, they've. I mean, they already. Now, now listen. We, to me. They, Universal has the deal with the company that makes the ride vehicles, and they're already doing it in Tokyo for the Olympics that happen next year. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the California Olympics. has already started on their building for their Super Mario area so, or clearing land for it. Uh -huh. So, here's the thing: though, we're getting it. I mean, in the no Nintendo Land. If I can't meet Wario and Luigi, this whole land needs to be shut the fuck down. <laughs> You're right. Wario, Luigi, <laughs> Mario, we need all of them. No, I just need Wario and <laughs> just, Luigi. Just, How just those the boys. Those character meet and greets will look terrible because Universal can't nail a good costume. Yeah, I know. They're all for our costumes. But so they're we'll, gonna, that's going to be spooky. Yeah, we'll it's get... It's going to be ghoulish. <laughs> some, would say. Yeah, ghoulish. Some, would, some would say ghoulish. All right, well, so... Did you say goulash? <laughs> Did you say... Um, Okay, cool. Uh, you lost it. <laughs> you lost it. <laughs> All right, well, um, so we talked about the lands that we think are going to be there. I mean, we think Nintendo, we think Classic Monsters, we think Fantastic Beasts slash Ministry of Magic, um, How to Train Your Dragon. I mean, what else? What else does Universal have? They have nothing. What? Yeah, SpongeBob? It, it's, there's nothing. They need to do more with SpongeBob. I'd love to see a back, Bikini Bottom. A Back to the Future I, area? Yeah, Bikini Bottom would I'd be great. I'd love to see a Bikini Bottom. In all seriousness, that would be cool. Do they own that? Um, well, no, they don't anything. own. I don't think they own it, but I think, I think they have rights to the theme park. Think, yeah, we'll we'll I have think, an intern fact check that, but we we do believe <laughs> that they have the rights to it. I think the big problem with them is that they don't want to fall into the trap of the Marvel and Fox situation again. So I think they're kind and of they're worried they're, about that with SpongeBob. Well, I mean, I just, I, yeah, I think they're they don't want to get back in the trap where they don't own anything and then they lose it. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Enough. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. What other what other lands do we see possibly coming? I mean, this area is huge. It's bigger than Islands and Universal and all of City Walk combined. And um, all the they've announced is has just looked up uh, the distributors of Viacom Media, um, and it is not associated with Universal in any way, shape, or form. But all right. So let's look at what other lands could possibly be coming into the epic universe of this. I think they're gonna go into some sort of like I, Tokyo Disney Sea style mm. ports of call, mm. all different places. I think that's what that's that's what they're they're gonna do. I mean, that's what it looks like to be honest, based on the concept art. Like yeah. the one they have, the American one. They have like I don't know some sort of Mediterranean one. Like it's like it's I mean it's just crazy stuff, and it's that same kind of style where you can use a vague concept and highly. It's got, the thing is. Here we go, the big, highly themed. That's what we're going to be getting into. It's Just going to be... highly themed lands out of Highly nowhere. themed lands that Universal's never done before, but they've had this practice with Harry Potter lands, and now they're ready to go into it. I, I say, Jake, you rolling, go fuck yourself, because you, you did this to us. This war, this highly themed war. I, I do think... I mean, yeah, that's I think why. it'll be good for, for Universal, though, because, obviously, it's tough to compete with the theming of Disney. But that's exactly what you need to try to overtake them. So I'd love to see. So I'd love to see Universal try. Honestly. So I theming and I love all, the whole thing about theming and it's all good. But as we've seen, you need like rides and like yes stuff inside yes. to keep people there. And I, people will I go. I don't think Universal has that problem though. I think their issue yeah. is the theming. Their I would say the if theming. they nail if, the theming, if they, if they can nail this, then then they they're, they are set. They, they can absolutely they can totally because we have high this, theming, but you go to Magic Kingdom, you ride the rides, you're like it's too it's too busy to to take something small in. It's like ugh. 
I, so what you're saying this new park at Universal there's gonna be no one there and we're just gonna be like go on every single ride I mean no, we could no, already do like, it it's like they're gonna stream they're, they're gonna have both it's gonna be the best of both the world first we of all have, I, so I it's just gonna wanna, be go ahead Jack it could be it I, I, I just wanna say no. if they do it right will they definitely not whatever <laughs> <laughs> I do wanna say though I think this could be Universal's Magic Kingdom this could be their big grab um and honestly, it's what they need. I see that. This this oh, could be like the centerpiece of but, their theme park, which well, is if, exactly. I mean, if you look at them. if you look at Universal Studios and Islands, it's just I don't. I was thinking about Islands today. There's really nothing that draws you there except for maybe uh, Hogsmeade. Yeah, Hog, and, Hogsmeade, yeah. Hogsmeade, and, and then eventually Jurassic. Jurassic World, Dr yeah, guess, eventually yeah. Jurassic Park will. Not right now, but. Yeah, that will. I mean, yeah. Who's going? Sorry, I never met anyone who's going to islands to go to Seuss Landing or exactly. Lost City, Lost so, Continent. I haven't exactly. been to Universal in quite some time, but yes. after watching live action Cat in the Hat the other night, I would go just for some. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, but not everyone is at home watching live action Cat in the Hat. A spectacular it's, it's, film. Hold on, I'm gonna take way. a minute oh to plug God. that Award film. Winning. Unreal Love. cinematography. Mike Myers, right? That was him. Yes. Unbelievable job as Cat. <laughs> Mike Myers was Cat. In not to be <laughs> confused with uh, Mike Myers. Michael Myers. Yes, not to be confused with Michael Myers. Mike Myers. Ten four. Um, okay, so yep. Okay, so well, yeah, we talk. I mean, are we saying legit the only IPs that can hold their own lands right now are maybe How to Train Your Dragon, Nintendo? We know Classic Monsters won't be a huge cash grab, but I mean. Everyone likes monsters. It's like a thing. Everyone knows them. And then the Ministry of Magic, Fantastic Beasts. We're saying that's it. When you say it like that, and you include this, how to train a dragon's land, it doesn't it almost sound dumb. Yeah, there's no. You're <laughs> saying you're saying dumb. Harry Potter, classic monsters like Frankenstein and vampire and vampires. You're it saying Nintendo, and then it you're saying sounds, how to train your dragon. It's like it sounds <laughs> like we're trying to shoehorn this fucking. This. Land. It's like fucking Dino Land. It's gonna be Dino Land. No one's gonna want to go. I was. But here's the thing. That's why they have the. That's why the coaster is there, it's as opposed there. to anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Yep. The coaster See, makes up for it. But I almost Better think, like, I almost think, like, as we're listing off these different lands, it almost seems like there is. They're trying to do too much. Like I, I think Nintendo could get its own park. Nintendo could get easily. its own park, but I think what they're well, doing... Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars should get its own it park. could get its own park easily. But but I think with the mix they have, like the Nintendo with the monsters, with Fantastic Beasts, with How to Train Your Dragon, what the fuck brings that all together? Okay. At, at least with Magic Kingdom, I know there's a lot going on there. It's a good what point, brings... Andy. What? It's a good point. No, I mean, what brings it, what ties it all together? What Nothing. ties Magic Kingdom together is the castle. And the Disney the, magic and yeah, all that. Like but the what the fuck is bringing all of this together? I'll tell a you, hotel? I'll tell you what's a bringing it. fountain in the middle? I'll tell you what's bringing it all. All the stuff that's in the middle. Shops, dining, and entertainment. And what do they lead to? Money. And that's yeah, why this is... Well, we all know that. We all know that. Extra fifth key. Currency. <laughs> Currency. But, but okay, you say it. that, but that's like plopping City Walk in the middle of a fucking theme park. But also, we have to take it where this is in downtown like it's right there like it's not like disney where you're in the woods and swampland well this is parking. yeah this is right by the convention center joe's it's... crab shack is you're looking over at hogsmeade and joe's crab shack is right <laughs> over there you can smell wendy's oh wow the butterbeer is so great but it's not a subway sandwich i smell yeah <laughs> i literally mean... smack dab right off i4 i mean we know my big j is right working over there so <laughs> how far Can't is be it a good is area. Like minutes it's 12 from, minutes from like uh, honestly at this point send i4 straight through the middle of this theme park Basically. right through the middle because that would be more entertaining <laughs> than a fantastic beast slam that, that, that would tell us where to i4 is in the middle and then it'll take you 45 minutes to get to each little <laughs> their, spoke their main street is going to be i4 that's what it's going <laughs> to be <laughs> um okay well what about okay so nintendo obviously if you look at the concept art you have nintendo and then there's a area right next to it that's classic monsters there's nothing in there are we saying possible expansion pokemon think about it they haven't even gone into pokemon which is nintendo yeah. they, could do that. they yeah, haven't the they haven't done pokemon zelda being in there is kind of 
Yeah, Switch. how do you not how do you not include Pokemon? How do you not include Zelda? These are huge. Pokemon, it might have only included Mario. I, I don't know. In the Nintendo deal? I mean, it said the Nintendo deal sounds all inclusive, but specifically they might have said we're only going to give you, you know, green pipes You're and right. a little plumber. You're right. Po <laughs> po po Pokemon could not. I don't. I don't know. A little Italian plumber again, is all you Pokemon get. Pokemon could have its own park. Yeah. And I, I mean, think they're doing it in an in injustice. They're doing it in an injustice by plopping it into some hastily thrown together. <laughs> A mishmash of this, this is totally a poo-poo right in Disney's face for the Star Wars, and I think it's really going to burn him in the ass. It's going to burn Universal? Yeah. Okay, well... They put all their eggs in one basket, and uh, this basket's going to break. Yeah, I can see it. If Nintendo does not do as well as they expect it to do, the, whole land the fact fun. that it's not near mm -hmm. all the other ones, you got you got to board a shuttle to get there. And that's you're gonna have to board a shuttle if you're on like main Universal property. If you're at the Hard Rock, if you're at Lowe's Portofino, you gotta oh, okay. board a yeah, shuttle yeah, yeah. to get over there, as opposed to taking a shuttle that takes five minutes to get over to Islands or. So, so does this mean Universal adds their own monorail? No, no. They relax. They treat you like a, sub, <laughs> I a fucking monorail subway system, but that's too much. Right over the middle of I four, <laughs> just a monorail. You know what? At, at this point, they have I four going across. Add a subway system. Yeah, well, let's just... Add a fucking subway... Let's underground. just go Forget... Skyliner. Sky... Yes, we're on to something here. <laughs> no, for, wait. Forget the Utilidors. <laughs> subway system underneath. Just I like... for team members. I like Skyliner. Let's put them in a box, hang them over the... Uh, over I-4, and no AC. It'll be great. <laughs> I, we we I'll love... Although no, I think this is... Skyliner. Although I think this is hastily thrown together, and then it's a bunch of things, I still think it's going to be big. I mean, it's the first park in, what, 20 years or so? Oh, Seven, yeah. I still 750 acres is the number they said. Yeah, I still think it's going to be a big hit no matter what. So. And then Islands and um, Universal, are, are, that's around like 400 with City Walk. So this is legit yeah, double the size, and yeah, double the size. And all that's we got, exactly. and all we got was a hub with a city walk, four parks. What we think are four lands. Uh, we think a dueling launch coaster and a hotel. You're telling me that's all they gave us? Uh, they gotta give us more eventually. No, they, they will. I think. I think they're waiting yeah, until I think, if, I think the angle they gave us is maybe a chunk. You think? And then yeah, if you look think... right at the bottom, you can see they don't really end as much like doing the top. You're right. It does look like so. You're saying possibly like an islands thing where this is the universal area where you walk in. Maybe on the other side, kind of like how California Adventure and Disneyland walk right over to the other one. They could very easily do that. Yeah, like this could be something or other, or maybe like up until you get to that hub. Eh, I don't know that hub and shopping area. No the hotel is a different thing. I that plastic monsters part is kind of hanging out there like a tumor on your brain. You're right. It is kind of just hanging there. But I mean, no, I do like. I mean, if they were like. Here's their one side. They said, the CEO said that universe is bigger than world. So if you did just a turn this camera around and we have four more, we got, I, I, we got a Pokemon, we got all that stuff, four more lands. Then does it look like a hastily thrown together? What we're seeing is all the plan. Yeah, this is definitely only a piece of the pie. Stuff. Yeah. Because they want, I, maybe they're like, well, they're trying to like coax something out of Disney or something saying, hey, they're, wait, they're waiting on Drop yeah. a new parade. A dance party? You got it. <laughs> dance party? Do it, Disney. <laughs> we dare you. All right. Another special ticketed event? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. We love those. Ticketed events? Special ticketed, ticketed events? events. Your, event, your event is that you get to go to Epic Universe. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, all right. Well, let's talk about some... What, I guess, stood out. Zach, you had a lot of the number details, how many jobs and everything... What what stood out as opposed from all of them? I don't know. They really pushed the jobs. They said a lot. Fourteen thousand. So the, the, they're all starting. They're all starting at fifteen dollars minimum wage, which is big. Oh wow. yeah, that's gonna. But again, that's more money. That they have. They have. I think at this point, they if they can't pull through, they've bitten off more than they can chew. And uh, fourteen thousand is a lot of jobs. I mean, you're not in the concept art. That's maybe I don't know. Six, three thousand, maybe. 
I don't know, like how how many would you? That's not going to be all fourteen thousand people working in Nintendo Classic Monsters Hotel. Well, no, they include community. like construction workers who are really only temporary jobs. They do that all the time. They say, "Oh, we're bringing all these jobs to the economy," and it's like, "Well, yeah, they're like jobs that are here, and then they're, they're here leave. for a second, yeah, and then they're gone." Then you're SOL. Okay, well, so besides jobs, besides another theme park, or adding to Universal's. Is there anything else that's making you if you're coming to if you're coming to Florida and you were here for a week and you are doing Magic Kingdom and Epcot on one day, you're doing Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom on another day. So there's two days gone. You've done Disney or you've done pretty much Disney. You're going to Universal. Are you now doing Islands and uh, Universal Florida on one day and then epic universe on another day it depends honestly for the novelty of going to it i would i would probably go but if it's bad you know you don't go back you go the one time you but i think you'd have to if you'd be a moron if you just didn't go like because what if it's awesome and then you just then you you're, yeah okay yeah obviously you have if to it's... take the dive but if i but if i've like heard something or you know you, you know you <clears throat> well nick what were you saying well, I mean, I think if we look at um, Gringotts, if we look at Forbidden Journey, I mean, the ride technology keep impro- keeps improving. I mean, every time they open up new rides. So I think, you know, that's going to be the case when those rides open up here. I mean, I think they're going to have the latest technology. I think it's going to be bringing people back. So. so this, I guess, leads us to the big question, which is, does Disney I get, need to develop a fifth park? Um, do we need a fifth gate to rival Epic Universe? Well, I think I think the bigger question is is Disney going to respond to this because in the past they really haven't responded to anything that Universal's kind of made a push to be the biggest park in Orlando to be actually equal to uh, Disney because in you know in the past it's been Disney and then Universal, but Universal's kind of put out you know what have they done? Well, this doesn't long. this doesn't make Universal equal with disney in my opinion disney will always win with people because people like you can't tell me you walk around disney you just feel a little bit safer comfortable than when you walk around universal you walk around universal i'm not like oh why no one's I'm, gonna mug me at universal <laughs> i know not, no one's gonna mug you but no, you know but you feel like you're at like a cheap mall and you're at universal compared compared to disney yes compared to disney, yeah well i mean i mean I, I made a list of what they put out in the past. So okay. I said Diagon Alley, Hogsmeade, both great things. Volcano Bay, uh, obviously EU now. Um, they put out Valley Resorts, which their Valley Resorts are way better than Disney, this in is my true. opinion. Yeah, but um, causing, Disney, causing Disney to change their Valley Resorts. I know. What, and, and what's so how? Well, think. look at Pop Century. Look at what Pop Century was and what it is now. Now it's looking more like a value resort that if you were to stay at Universal. It's, it's cheap, but it's got all the amenities well, they, that you want. They've, they've softened up the cheesy aspect of it. I think yes. They, they changed the decor. Um, but Disney really hasn't responded, in my opinion. I mean, they put out Toy Story Land, which isn't jaw-dropping. They put out Pandora, which is nice, but it's not going to bring hey, a ton of people. Hey. And, a, <laughs> and no Pandora slander. And okay. well, don't you can't forget about Hakuna Matata dance party. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> and Universal does not have a dance party. party. Just, just yeah, to I think confirm, Galaxy's universe. Edge is Galaxy's Edge is the only response they have in the past, and and, and, and as we're looking uh, at it in the past months, it's not going to be as big as no. We it's be and uh, I, let let me interject for a second. Um, I don't think Disney needs to respond because a lot has to go right for Universal to really pull this off and get even level with Disney. Yeah, but we're not we're not talking about what they're putting out in the future. What they put out in the past, they put out so much stuff to try to get on the same bar with them. And, but but they're I mean, still and, not. So I don't think I don't think this gets this would have to go. Right on the same level. Is if a this theme park. A uh, Universal is an amusement park. <laughs> said, it's a theme park. This is true. But is but is Universal trying to become a theme park? Yes. yes. Well, that yes. is another question. And this and I say this 
if done well, done as well as we think, if this is only a part of the concept art and we have the other part of the concept art coming and this will blow us out of the water, then this puts them into that conversation. But I, it, they're not there yet. I don't think so. Um, I don't but think I they, they, they've, they've wet their appetite with those lands. Hogsmeade, Diagon Alley. And now, they, they, and now they're going to say, I think we're ready for this. And that's they, why I say I mean, we're about to find out. Demand, and it's all her. Personally, yeah. I don't think they're ready. I also think Galaxy's Edge is going to, whatever EU has going on, Galaxy's Edge is going to blow it out of the water. Um, that said, I visiting Galaxy's Edge, I would say once Rise of Resistance, it will blow yep. is out, it'll blow it out of the water. Yep. At the moment, not blowing it out of the water. But it's not like yeah, well, EU's opening up in the next okay, no, I, I know. month and a half, so I, it doesn't I'm, matter. I'm saying Galaxy's Edge is going to be better than whatever they put out. Yeah. I, and and I'm, I'm not saying Galaxy's Edge before Rise of the Resistance is open, because that's, that's, that's Galaxy's Edge at half strength. Yeah. Because Rise, like the land, Smuggler's Run is incredible. Yeah, it was but good. The land Rise was of the good. Resistance is pulling half of the weight for Galaxy's yeah. Edge. Rise of Resistance is it's their Flight of Passage and Smuggler's, which was so good. Millennium Falcon, so good. Is that's there, their Navi that's River. Their Navi. And, and if that's your Navi, then you're doing something. Yeah. Yep. That's unbelievable. I, mean, I still I still think that Disney has to put out something more than a couple lands to keep no, the ice that you going in. But it's been, when was the last park built? More than 30, right? 99. Uh, 90, 99, 90, 90, Animal King. No, 90, 90, what was it? 98. 98. 98. 25, 25, 21 this 25, year. 25. Oh, 21, 25. yeah. It's time. It's 30, yeah. It's time. No, I agree. Things right. are getting a little stale. You can't, you can't just keep rehabbing parks. You got to make something no. new. You can't reshape them. You just you have to give us exactly. something. Because yeah. it also you think about it, they, we need somewhere for all these people to go. They keep pushing hotels every month. There's a new hotel that they're dropping. You're right. Where are these people gonna go? So there's no these... room for them. The lines are already long. Yeah. No. I know. But I don't know. That leaves us with a good, good stopping part. Stopping point to go we from can talk here. About fifth gates. Huh? We can talk about fifth gate. Would you like to talk about your imaginary idea for fifth grade? I know you would. You've been. I don't been, have one. I, I, have one, I don't have one. I we can come back and do that, but I don't have one right now. Well, we all know the classic. The villains and the hero. villains, the, the heroes and villains, good and bad. I mean, which we will see. That's based on the villains event that they're doing right now. Which is yes, and honestly, that's. I think if if you could fit, you could create, you could shoehorn a shit ton of shit in that. Yeah, you really could. A ten gallon hat. And just shove it full. The, put like, the Yzma roller coaster. You can do like unrepresented, like Hercules on the hero side, some yeah. Fantasia, both sides. You could, you could, you bring up Yzma. I don't think that'll ever get done. Because at, at this point, who, who, like, I, oh, who, who knows about that besides mm, the older generation? Yeah, you're right. That's an older generation thing. But also, the villains crowd would be an older generation crowd. That's who it's for. Yeah. It's not for the younger crowd. They have the oh, younger crowd okay. stuff. You you say that, but Epcot's making this push to be more family friendly. I think anything they do will have to be family friendly so that they bring in the entire yeah. market. Then I don't know. That's a villain's thing. I mean, people know Yzma, they just don't know her well. Mm -hmm. So, but I, I think know. if the kids would just like a ride, and then I don't think they, I don't think. Yeah, I don't it's just Disney a ride. for the young anymore. I think it's for it. it's they're they're realizing just as much Universal has been monetized yeah, they're, like they're prioritizing. Their... Yeah, they're realizing who's actually coming. Yep. It's those millenni those millennials, those childless, those childless millennials. millennials. You guys will spend, we'll spend money on anything. Yep, this is true. We will spend money on everything, and that segues us to how we get our money from our sponsors. The Magic Blitz podcast is brought to you by Joe Rody's Droopy Earlobe. Once it touches the ground, the Yeti will be fixed. And also brought to you by the Tower of Terror cast member's black eye. Make sure you book a fast pass. Well, that'll do it for us here today on the Magic Blitz podcast. Thank you for joining us. We really got into uh, Universal's Epic Universe. It was a good time. Thank you for Klaus. Thank you for joining us, Klaus. Hey, thanks. Follow us on Twitter at the Magic Blitz. We need followers. Thanks. We do. Zach, thank you for visiting us from Rhode Island. Oh, it was a pleasure. Again, follow us, like, and subscribe. 
We need all the files we can get. Let's get our style out there. We do. We got Drew right here on location. Thank you for joining us, Drew. Uh, thank you for listening, guys. And cannot stress this enough. I have a zero tolerance policy for Pandora slander. <laughs> zero tolerance. Do not slander Pandora. It is not okay. Calte. Especially Jackie Ogden. Especially Calte, Jackie Ogden. Kibame, Calte. All the things. Follow us. You can follow us on Twitter, the Magic Blitz. If you don't follow us, you don't matter. All right. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Kiavame. Thanks for blitzing with us. Thanks for blitzing.